Okay, so I haven't done like a full vlog in probably like a year, but um, this week is super, super busy. So I decided along with my mini TikTok vlogs that I've been doing, I'm just gonna do a full on weekly vlog, just this once. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing them, but yeah, I'm here at a pumpkin patch. Today is Monday, so first day of the week. And we're gonna go pick my pumpkins that I get every year. Chicken escaped. So over here, there's this tractor B train, and I am determined to go on it. It is so cute. We have to ride it. <laughs> Here's a country store, so we're gonna go in. Look, I'm wearing my witch hat. <laughs> witch outfit. I'll do like an OOTD. These, I just got these exact same decals on Amazon for like $6, and here they are for $3 at the country store. It's so cute in here, so fall and aesthetic. Everything I could have ever dreamed of. I love fall so much. Look at these little house setups. They're so cute. Look at this, look at this one. It's like, I want this as my actual house. Like, that's what I want it to look like when I'm a grown up and have a house. Master's collection power saw. I need this. If you've ever seen any of my pumpkin carving streams, you know how badly I need this. So we're trying to figure out how to ride this B train that we saw, with all the little bees on it, and also there should be a corn maze somewhere that we really want to find. I really want to do that sound from um, Parks and Rec, where Andy's like, oh, "This maze is made out of maize," or like something like that. I don't know. <laughs> So we found the entrance to the Bumblebee train, but it's $5 each, so we're not sure if we're gonna do it. But the corn maze is apparently included with our ticket. So I think we're gonna go find that, do all the stuff that's like included with the price of being here, and then decide from there if we're actually gonna pay for other stuff. So we're still on our way to the corn maze and we just found this field of sunflowers. You can actually pick your own, but we're not gonna do that. Um, but they have little bees inside of them and I'm so happy. I don't know if you guys have noticed how declined the bee population is, um, but it is and it's something very important to me. So seeing bees here pollinating the flowers just makes me so happy. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna disturb them. I'm just gonna let them do their thing, but I'm very happy and it is so beautiful. Like it's literally so gorgeous here. Like just all these sunflowers. Oh, there's none on this side. They've kind of been not, I think they're just not opened yet. But yeah, over here, so many. And then there's just rows and rows and rows of them. So we took some pictures and yeah, they're just gorgeous. And now we're gonna move on and go find our corn maze. <laughs> so we've made it into the corn maze. Now we just gotta make it out of the corn maze. It's corn! I thought I lost all my people for a sec. So we just keep finding dead ends, but also someone tagged the sign. <laughs> like what? This is like a kid's thing. People, people are crazy. Okay, my review of um, this farm is meh. Coming from Maryland where they would like have kind of bigger farms where you could like literally pick the pumpkin like from the field, like pull it from its like stem. Um, it was, I mean, they had like a lot of nice, very picturesque pumpkins, but like that's not what we're about. We're looking for like that raw, get the pumpkin right off the vine experience. Um, other than that, I mean, it was cute. It was lots of stuff for kids to do. Um, and we were really disappointed on the selection of snacks. We were hoping for like, you know, some like caramel apples, popcorn, um, like apple cider, stuff like that, like pumpkin flavored things, cakes and pies and everything. There was like none of that. So that was the most disappointing part, honestly, but we have a really fun week ahead, so I'm excited. Okay, continuing the vlog on my phone, but I'm still at a concert. Oh, this is what I'm wearing. I'm really excited. I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog, but I'm really excited. Got my t-shirt.
When I was a young boy. So update that, the concert was absolutely amazing. I have no hearing, I have no voice, I was screaming the entire time. Um, but now we forgot where we parked and we were stupid and didn't um, like take a picture or write it down or something, which I'm usually really good about. But this time I completely failed. So this parking lot was crazy crowded and we were trying to navigate it and figure out where we parked. All right, so third thing this week. It's been a pretty busy week tonight's the night after the concert. And we are here at um, not Fairy Farm, but it's not Scary Farm tonight. And I think it's gonna be similar to like the Universal Horror Nights thing. But I've never been here before, so I don't know. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear anything that I say. Sorry. We just got in a line for something called Dark Ride and we don't know what it is. Literally just said Dark Ride, line starts here and so we got in the line. That's how the whole night's gonna be because I, I literally don't know like anything about this place. <laughs> Maybe we should have done some research. Okay, so we just went through the Dark Ride or whatever. Um, review. It's different vibes than Halloween Horror Night inside. Similar but different, if that makes any sense. It really, really reminded me of um, like Scooby-Doo, like the live action Scooby-Doo when they're like in the haunted like amusement park. I don't know, like, that's what the vibes that it gave off. I did think the scares were better in terms of like three actually got me, whereas like none really got me at Universal. But it was really, really, really long. Like we kept going, it was just like too long. Like it was really hot in there. And I just kept going and going and going. We're trying to find the rest of our group. What have we learned? This place is really big. And um, our friends aren't good at directions. So, it's been a lot. <laughs> we're back at the front, at the entrance. So we're about to go on a ride called Ghost Rider. I don't think it has anything to do with the Marvel Ghost Rider. Because this is the different part. I'm excited. space themed and it was way better it was still really long though but didn't feel quite as long um and then i was gonna tell you all about it but um my wallet broke so my friend is fixing it right now but hopefully it survives because it's cute the zipper just totally like snapped off something it closes at one so we're beating the crowd a little bit um actually it was really really fun i thought at first i was kind of like eh, compared to like universal but i actually think it's better which i'm so i surprised myself in saying that um so i'm looking forward to getting to come back someday don't know if it's gonna be this year probably not but maybe next year my favorite maze was definitely like i can't remember what it was called but it, like was the clown circus maze which I'm actually kind of surprised at because I thought I wouldn't like that one as much because I think like clowns are kind of overdone. You know, like everyone has clowns, like how are you going to do clowns in a new way? But they did it in a really fun way. So I thought that one was really great. We didn't get to do all of them. So I think there are some that are supposed to be like really good that we didn't get to do. But we'll look forward to that next year. <laughs> all right, so here is the last part of my vlog. I know it's kind of more than a week because today is Tuesday. Um, but yes, this is the last part and I am at Oogie Boogie. It is my second Oogie Boogie. If you want to see my first one, I did post a little mini vlog like everywhere, YouTube, TikTok, 
Insta like everywhere. Um, so you can see it there, but yeah, I'm King Possible today. And yeah, we're here pretty early because they let you into the parks early. Um, even though Oogie Boogie doesn't start until later. So we're gonna take some pictures and get some food because we're a little hangry because the drive was crazy long. No. Alright, so we're in the Ventures campus and it's food time. And I always get the like plant-based kids meal. It's so good. And it like comes with a water bottle and everything. So it's just so good. but it's good. Huh. Alright. So since this is my second Oogie Boogie, um, I'm just determined to do like all the things that I didn't get to do the last time and this photo op is one of them. So it's about like 5.30ish right now and it starts at 6. So we just got in line super early. There's already like a pretty huge line. No, we probably should have gotten in even earlier. But yeah. <laughs> You guys should know why I am. I'm usually standing like this. Headless. So. <laughs> Oh my 
god, that was like literally so gorgeous. It was so cool. Um, so we basically done like all the things that were on like my, my like bucket list for the evening. Like bucket list, I don't know. So now I think we're just gonna go try and get through as many tree trails as possible. Make like a big circle around and just get like all the candy that we can. <laughs> You lose and I always win, Remember me and I will forget you definitely. Welcome, Angel. Hi, Agatha. I don't have a bad angle. I do have a bad side. But... You look amazing. You always look amazing. All that jazz exercise paying off. Yes. That was the chaos. Just a little bit. Agatha was so good. I love her so much. She's my favorite. I love this room so much. I love it normally during Disney and then also right now during like Boogie Day. It looks so cool. It's also empty right now because it's during the parade, which is amazing. So we tried to see Agatha again, but she wasn't out. Um, we've done almost all of the tree trails now. The only one we haven't done is Dr. Facilier because we didn't feel like battling the parade. So we're making our way that way now. And then after that, we're just basically gonna run around try and get as much candy as we can which is sort of what we've been doing but like slower and then head out very tired it's like kind of it's hot outside but very humid and I feel like not great honestly I mean I feel good having a great time but the weather and wearing like long sleeves and a wig and like jeans is not super great <laughs>
Of course, like only me goes to Disney and like does a full photo shoot with like four of the photo people and Adam, of course. I'm just walking around just because I need more guests. He needs more pictures. He has to take a certain number of pictures. That was actually hilarious. That was so much fun. The pictures are so good. I can't wait to share them. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. So we still just have one tree trail left, so we're heading there right now, and then we'll have gotten all of them. Okay, so I just got back home. I'm so tired, literally. My ankles are numb, which I should probably look into. I don't know if that's like a health thing, but yeah, um, it was so much fun, but super hot out, lots of running around, and also I got a ton of candy this time, like way more than last time for some reason. Let me show you this, actually. Like literally, look at this bag. Look, wait, let me show you, wait. Did you hear that? This is, this, this, that's all candy. So much candy, oh my gosh, I'm very excited. Also there's like some healthy stuff in here, like carrots and stuff too, but let's be real, we're just in it for the candy. Um, but yeah, that was kind of my week. I know it's been a really long time since I've done like a full long vlog. I'm hoping to do more of them, but I have really been enjoying these like little mini shorter vlogs. I've like really liked making them, so I'm not gonna stop. Um, I'm just hoping to also do some like longer vlogs as well. So stay tuned, be sure to like this video and subscribe so that I am motivated to continue to make these long vlogs and so that you are notified to watch them. And be sure to follow me everywhere else. It's all in the description down below. Thanks so much, have a good Halloween. I just took my wig off. Literally my hair, is, I, I didn't like adjust it. It is sticking it straight out like this is, it's like Steve Jobs, but then also just like the devil. So also like Steve Jobs. Oh my God, without the wig on, do you know who I realized I just look like? Is that girl from Atlantis? Like, look at this, like the, the, there's no belt or anything, just the shirt and the pants and the blonde hair. I look like that girl. Can't remember her name.